Okay, so the state is a relative, relatively stable pattern of behavior, thoughts and motives, and emotions that characterizes an individual. Behavior, thoughts, motives, and emotions. What's interesting about the definition is it's distinctive. Nobody has the nobody has the same personality. You guys get that? Yeah. Everybody has a different personality. So so Kamoy, it's distinctive. Watch this and relatively stable, meaning I can locate who Kamoy is. For generally speaking, Kamoy is quiet. Generally speaking, Kamoy is introverted. Generally speaking, okay, just an example, right? That's how we that's how we articulate and describe a personality trait or a personality style. It's generally stable. The person is not one minute here and the next minute there. Eh, no, they're generally they're generally within this realm. <laughs> All right. A trait, what's a trait? A trait is a characteristic of an individual describing a habitual way of behaving, thinking, or feeling, all right? So listen, you all know that I'm probably going to have a true or a false, and you know that I probably will switch up some words in there to see if you know the definitions, right? Let's go back for a second. Personality is a pattern. <laughs> That's the distinguishing characteristic between personality and trait. A personality is a composition of traits. You get that? You guys get that? Yes. It's, it's a composition or a constellation. Whereas a trait is a single characteristic. I asked you for three. I asked you for three. A trait. I didn't tell you to tell me what your personality is. I told you to give me a trait. Give me three traits that describe you. Psychodynamic theories of personality. Who, who, who is regarded as the forefather of psychodynamic Sigmund Freud. Sigmund Freud in the psychodynamic approach to psychology is illustrated how? By using a what? Iceberg. Class. You have the conscious and the unconscious. You have the behavior the scene manifestation, the behaviors, and then you have the drives or the motives, one, two, three, four, the things that, that lead to the behavior. So the scene iceberg above the surface, here's, here's, here's how you should, should see this. What scene when you're in your little tugboat is above water? You guys get that? Okay. You all all see me on a weekly basis above water. But you don't know necessarily what drives me and motivates me or influences me to be who I am to you above water. You all get that? Yeah. So what psychoanalysis does, and Sigmund Freud introduced this to us by looking at the id and the ego and the superego and the sex drives and the motivations and all that stuff, is he goes deep into the personality based on his psychoanalysis, and he looks at the unconscious. It's unconscious because it's underwater and it's not seen. Oftentimes we don't know our drives which is why we need a therapist or a counselor to sit with us and to say, well, Abdul, where do you think that comes from? Abdul, have you ever noticed that 
Tariq, have you ever considered? That's what a therapist, a counselor, a psychologist does. They bring the unconscious <coughs> to the conscious level, or they bring, they bring the underwater to the above water. All right? So psychodynamic theories of theories that explain behavior and personality in terms of unconscious energy. Any time you see something referring to unconsciousness, it's psychodynamic, and any time you see something that's referring to psychodynamic, you know that the, the theorist is... Correct. <laughs> and psychoanalysis is a theory of personality and a method of psychotherapy developed by Sigmund Freud. It emphasizes unconscious motives and conflicts. It's what's going on beneath the surface. Uh, the, the majority of it is. The majority of it is. This slide puts it all in perspective. All right, so somebody tell me what the ego is. What's the ego? What, you, you know, like, really, you can use your books if you want to use your books. I wouldn't be mad at you. Ego, the second system to us is a referee between the needs of instinct and the demands of society. Okay. Okay. What's the definition that the book gives for ego? Personality that represents reason, good sense, and rational self control. Okay. Good. Good. So the id is our pleasure principle. The id is oftentimes referred to as the kid. Id kid. It does. It does with the flesh. The 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 the, the pleasure. The emotions, the sexual drives. The id does whatever the id wants to do. The id's the kid. <laughs> what is the book say about the id? Oh, I thought you were breaking down the id. Jalissa, do you, uh, who wants to give us a quick consequence? The part of the personality contains inherent traits of psychology and personality traits of psychology. Sexual appeal. It okay. may manifest in reflex actions, physical symptoms, or uncensored, uncensored mental images and forbidden thoughts. Gotcha. The it is the, the instincts, the human instincts, the pleasure principle, the flesh, the emotions, the feelings. The it is the feeling center. The ego is the reality center. We can't do that. It's not that's not what we do here. That's not how we do it. So what's the so then what's the super ego? The voice of conscience representing morality and parental authority. Good. That mean what were you gonna say? Yeah, Okay. The super ego is the moral principle. Super ego is the moral check. The ego is the reality check. And the id is the, the flesh instinctual check. You guys get that? Okay, so when you see it on the final, you'll be able to identify what the id, the ego, and the super ego is. If I gave you this slide, you would be able to, with, with, like, a, with like, you know, blank blocks, you'd be able to put it in? You sure? All right. <laughs> this is the I love ego defense mechanisms we do them so often once you, once you study the main ones you'll see them all the time alright so check this out we have an ego and once again what does the book say our ego is a reality center. A reality center. What's the definition that the book gives us of those? Um, the second system is a merged referee between needs, instincts, and demands of society. Yeah, it's the referee. It manages. It manages the social standards, what's right and wrong, so on and so forth. Right? Okay. So we all have this ego. We all have this sense of right and wrong. We all have this 
this idea of who we are, and it's based on our ego system and, and how we perceive, perceive ourselves and how we perceive society and how we fit within society. Check this out. Their major ego defense mechanisms in the master's program for counseling and psychology, there may be like, there may be like 20, all right? The main five that we're going to look at in this class, you better know them for the final, are repression, projection, displacement, regression, and denial. Do not get repression and regression mixed up. The first one's what? What's the second one? Projection. What's the third one? Displacement. What's the regression? Fifth one? Denial. Okay. So, so, see, th this is the blessing of coming to class. You get, you get, you get a final, a question on the final. A question that will be on the final will be list for me. The five major ego defense mechanisms. The first one is regression. The second one is projection. The third one is displacement. The fourth one is regression. The fifth one is denial. And now you know how I test. So after I have you to list the five, I'll probably have examples of them following the listing, right? And you'll have to pick which one is being displayed. You get that? Yeah. Okay. So the first one is repression. Look at my man's ears. Look at my, look at look at his look at his he's blocking it out. He's repressing it. Repressing it. Repressing it. When a threatening idea, memory, or emotion is blocked from consciousness. Listen, can I go there? It's one of the reasons why it's so difficult for women who have been sexually assaulted or abused to go into court and to testify against the alleged victim because they, they don't want to see it, they don't want to remember it, it's a bad experience, they don't want to be asked questions, they don't want anybody checking them on, why, why did you call him at 3 o'clock in the morning if you didn't want him to go there? They don't, they, don't, they, don't, they don't want to relive and have to go through all of that. So they repress it, they don't deal with it because it's, it's tough for the ego to manage. Make sense? Or it can be um, something as simple as a breakup, a fight with mom, a fight with dad, a fight with your sister. You just block it out and you don't ever want to deal with it again. All right? Repression means to block out. Okay, to block out. Just remember that. Repress. Projection. Projection is when a person's own unacceptable or threatening feelings are repressed and then attributed to someone else. Okay, let me give you an example. Mr. Tarif knows that he has unhealthy relationships with females. And they call him sometimes at 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, or 3 o'clock in the morning. And they don't call him to study Professor Morgan's psychology class. And he feels a little bit guilty about the fact that these females call him at 1, 2, or 3 in the morning. And his ego is dealing with the rightness or the wrongness of engaging in these types of relationships with these women. He doesn't do anything constructive with them, per se. They just call him between one and three to hang out in the wrong way, right? So then when I give the class an example about how my girlfriend called me at three o'clock in the morning, because he can't fathom or even conceptualize why someone would be calling Professor Morgan at three o'clock in the morning, because the women that call him at two o'clock or three o'clock in the morning only want one thing, he then projects onto me the circumstances and the situation that he's dealing with that have nothing to do with me. 
I don't know if my ego is really battling between that being right or wrong. <laughs> for some reason, I believe that. For some reason, I believe that. I, 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 I don't believe you're lying. I don't believe you're lying. 